We now turn in our studies of human anatomy and physiology to our first exploration of an organ system, namely the integumentary system. The integumentary system contains the largest organ of the human body, namely our skin. Like all organ systems, it contains multiple organs, one of which is the skin. The integumentary system also includes several accessory organs, such as hair follicles and nails and oil and sweat glands. We often fail to think of our skin as an organ, and yet it is one of a few organs that we can actually observe with the naked eye. We are acutely aware of changes in our skin, and our skin can reveal many signs of our overall internal health. Let's begin our study of the integumentary system with a brief overview of its basic anatomy and physiology. The integumentary system has two major parts, the skin and its accessory structures. We learned in module 4.5 that the body has four types of tissue membranes made of connective tissue with epithelial linings, namely mucous membranes, serous membranes, synovial membranes, and cutaneous membranes. The skin is a cutaneous membrane made of a stratified squamous epithelium and an underlying layer of connective tissues called the dermis. The accessory structures include hair, exocrine glands, and nails. These are lined with epithelia, but often protrude down into the dermis below. Beneath the dermis is a layer of loose connective tissue, primarily adipose tissue, called the hypodermis because it lies beneath the dermis. It is also known as a subcutaneous membrane, again because it's below a cutaneous membrane. Thus, it separates the integument from deeper tissues and organs. It is typically not part of the integumentary system, but we include it here because of its immediate proximity to the skin and because its connective tissue fibers are interwoven with those of the dermis. The integument has five major functions. One, protection. The skin covers and protects underlying tissues and organs from impacts, chemicals, and infections. It also prevents the body from loss of water or dehydration. Two, temperature maintenance. The skin maintains normal body temperature by regulating heat exchange with the environment. Three, synthesis and storage of nutrients. The epidermis synthesizes vitamin D3, which is a steroid building block for hormone that aids in calcium uptake. Four, sensory reception. Receptors in the integument detect touch, pressure, pain, and temperature stimuli, and relay that information to the nervous system. Five, excretion and secretion. Integumentary glands excrete salts, water, and organic waste. Also specialized integumentary glands of the breast secrete milk. We'll explore these functions more fully as we discuss the individual components of the integument. In module 5.1, we begin with the superficial layer of the skin, namely the epidermis.